Hi guys, it's Miss Hall. And Miss Nelson. And we're doing our big similar figures um, foldable that you got yesterday uh, in class and you should, or today in class and you should have glued in. So we're going to go look at it over here on the ladybug. So here it is. And um, we're going to kind of be going out of order on the smart board because it will be in order um, on your foldable. So yesterday in class when we handed it out, um, this top here just goes over um, the definitions again, and you should have highlighted um, information. And um, then here, these two figures, um, we proved if they were similar or not. And if you recall from yesterday or earlier today, the top two, uh, the two triangles are um, similar and the bottom two are not similar and we proved that mathematically okay so then i want you to turn to your next page which has the cactus on it and we're going to be doing that together now on the video so let me find that page and here it is okay Okay, so what we are doing today, we are deciding, um, they are telling us that shapes are similar, and we are going to be solving for an unknown length or distance. So we are actually going to be solving something in our similar shapes. You already know they are similar because they tell us they are. Um, so we don't have to question that. We don't have to go and check side lengths and angles because we are actually going to be solving for a missing side length today. Okay, so you are still going to need your two highlighters. Go ahead and get out your two highlighters um, because we're going to be highlighting sides um, as we go. Okay. So what we're going to do, I know even though these two triangles are faced different way, I can visually shift um, this triangle to the right and see what its corresponding sides are. So I know that my 28 is the same as my 8. My 56 is going to be the same as my 12. And then my X is going to be the same as my 16. So whenever you set this up, um, and whenever we do our proportion, there is a couple ways that you can do it. You can use a combination of any two colors as long as you use the two blues, okay? And the reason that we're using the two blues is because that is the color that my X is on. So therefore, in order to solve for X, it has to be involved in the equation. So I'm just going to use my yellows and blues. Okay, you can use green and blues. Your numbers will just be different, um, but it doesn't matter because we should get the same answer for X by the time we are done. So I'm going to start with my small triangle and I'm going to put yellow over blue, which is eight over 16. So when I go to my big triangle, I need to do yellow over blue, which is 28 over X. So now, just like we did whenever we were doing our percent increase and decrease and mark up, mark down, I'm going to be solving for X. So I'm going to cross multiply. That leaves me with an 8X equals, and I need to multiply 16 and 28. So I get 448. So to solve for x, I'm going to divide each side by 8. So 8 doesn't go into 4, but it goes into 44, and it goes 5 times, which is 40. I bring down my 8. 8 goes into 48 6 times. So this leaves me with x equals 56. So over here, x equals 56 and we are talking about centimeters so i'm going to go ahead and label that centimeters so that is your answer for the missing side of that triangle okay now we have a cactus that has a long shadow that is 14 feet 7 inches long a gate nearby has a shadow that is 5 feet long estimate the height of the cactus now one thing we have to think about here is that um Oh, is we have this inches in here. We cannot um, do 14.7 inches. You have to convert that into a decimal. And I see a lot of my students that forget that conversion stuff. 
And so um, I know that seven inches over 12, that's my total. So then I'm going to do top in, bottom out. That will not go in, so I have to put a decimal. Okay, 12 goes into 70. Six, six ounces, five times 50. So it's five. So five times two, yeah, 60. And I have 10 remaining. I'm, I'm going to bring down um, another zero and 12 goes into 188. So I just, when I did this before, I rounded this eight to, uh, this five to a six. So for this, I used 14.6 inches. So I did that first, I'm gonna erase that because we just had to convert that for our inches there. I didn't use that one. Miss um, Nelson just pointed out that we have three foot, um, four inches there. You could have used that one. Do I need to do that one? You have to. I do have to. Why did I do this one? Oh well, because they only give you two measurements, you have to do them both. Yeah. So now I have three foot, four inches. So I'm gonna do the same thing, four over 12. This one's a little bit kinder. So I have, um, this simplifies to one fourth, which I know is 0.25. That's one of those decimals that we just know. Um, I'll put, no, one third. Oh, one third. Ms. Nelson just corrected me. Four goes into four <laughs> once, four goes into 12 three times, not four times. And that's still one of those decimals that we know is 0 0.33, right? Yep. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna use 0.3 because this uh, rounds down. Okay, now that we have our conversions made, now we're going to um, set up our problem. So I'm going to get my highlighter out and I'm going to do my um, corresponding slides. Okay. So I have. Do I have the pet rally schedule? It's right there. On my board. On my, on my board. board. Well, I just need. Do you have it like electronically that I can have the rest of this? No, I have to do it. Okay. okay. So we know these sides correspond. And then we know all that um, our. Heights is correspond. Okay, so we've already converted this one. And we talked about, where's my, just okay. <laughs> and this one over here, we said was 14.6. Okay, so now I'm gonna set them up. And um, I do them a little bit different than um, Ms. Nelson does. And I'm going to do that on purpose, just so you can see, it doesn't matter how you set up your proportion, as long as you're consistent. So I'm going to do my blue with my blue. So I have 3.3, that's my small one, that's my fence, and my cactus is X. Then I'm going to do my yellow and my yellow. Remember, this is my, the top is my um, gate, and the bottom is my cactus, right? So then I'm going to do, so I did blue and blue five and 14.6. Okay, you still get the same answer if I would have done um, yellow and blue and yellow and blue, but I just did my, um, I used my gate first and then on top and then my cactus on the bottom. All right, yes. So cross multiply. So I'm going to get five X equals, I don't know what 14.6 uh, times 3.3 .3 is, so I have to come over here and do it. my two decimal places up here in my problem. So I have 5x equals 48 
0.18. Now I have a one-step equation. I'm going to divide both sides by 5. And again, I have to come down here. And that's 1. But I know 48.18 divided by 5. 5 goes into 48 9 times. Three remaining. I'm going to go ahead and put this decimal right above where it is so I don't forget. I'm going to bring down my 1. 5 goes into 31. Sorry, guys. Um, 6 times. 1 remaining. I'm going to bring down my 8. 5 goes into 18 5 times. And I'm going to do one more zero to see if I need to, what I need to do with that 5. Sorry. Bring down another zero. Five goes into 36 times. So then, where do we want to round to on this one, Ms. Nelson? Um, it doesn't say. No, it doesn't say. I would round to the tenth place. So we're going to round to this place. So um, this six is going to round that three up to four. So x equals 9.64. What are we dealing with? Feet, right? Yes. Feet. Should have written that in the color. X equals 9.64. Okay, I'm going to come over here. And now we want to do the bottom. I need to find it. Oh, it actually is in the right spot. This one. Okay. Wait. Hold on, I'm looking. That's the cactus. Yeah, that is the right one. Okay. Go ahead. So our last column says, what is the height of the totem pole to the left? Okay. I'm sorry. That's not the last one. This is um, second to last. I'm just erasing that part. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go back and I'm going to highlight. So I know that the height of my totem pole is going to be yellow. So then the height of the man. Okay, yeah, that looks like a man. <laughs> so I'll make the height yeah. of the man and also be yellow. <laughs> um, and then we have the shadow of the total pole and the shadow of the guy. Okay. So to set it up, again, I'm going to go back and I'm going to do my one shape at a time. It doesn't matter. You can do yellow with yellow and then green with green, or you can do one shape like I do. It's your personal preference. Just make sure however you start to set it up, you're continuous for the remainder of that problem so that you don't mix your numbers. So I'm going to have, in this case, it's an H. So H over 15 equals, and I'm going to use the height of my man, which was 5 over his shadow of 3.75, okay? So I'm going to cross multiply. So I have 3.75H equals 15 times 5. And I get 75. So I'm going to divide each side by 3.75. Okay, I don't know what that is. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to divide. So 75 goes in, 3.75 goes out. Now, I cannot divide when I have a decimal on the outside, so I move it over twice, which means I also have to move this over twice and carry it up and fill in those zeros, okay? So 375 into 750. So let's see if we can go and do twice. So 375 times two. And it does go twice, so that's 750, zero. I'm not done yet because I still have space between the two and the decimal, so I bring down that zero, and it goes zero times, so I zero out. So H equals 20, and we are talking about feet. So our totem pole is 20 feet tall. Okay, so our last example, the gardens at the right are similar in shape. What is the width of the smaller garden? Okay, so, so I'm going to highlight first. And I have my um, width. And I, um, there we go. 
So I have my width, which I have to use because I'm looking for W. And then we have the length. And it tells us that there are similar figures. So um, I'm going to set up my proportion. And I do, um, I, when I do my box, I usually do a box. And if this helps you, you can set it up just like a proportion. This is a proportion and I label it. So I have my large garden and then my small garden. Some of you, this helps keep you straight when you label it so you don't flip flop when you're um, putting your numbers in. And then I have my length and my width. So now I can just go in my large length is um, 54. My large width is 42. My small length is, I'm pointing at it. They can't see me pointing at it, can they? is 36 and I'm looking for my small width and so I just put W in that for that. Now I'm going to cross multiply again. Like I said, this is just a proportion. I just used the box so I could label it. Some of my students, I just try to show you all different strategies. Some of my students really love the box and the labeling because it keeps them straight. Okay, so I have uh, 50, I'm going to cross multiply. So 54 W equals 42 times 36 so I have 1512 now I'm going to have a one-step equation I'm going to divide both sides by 54 this becomes 1 so W equals, I don't know what that is, so I'm going to come over here and do it. Top in, bottom out. So I know that 54 will not go into 15, but it will go into 151. Three, I think two times only. Two times eight, I'm sorry, two times four is eight. Two times um, five is 10. I'm going to bring down my 2, 54 goes into 432, I know 50 goes into 400 eight times, so let's try that, 8 times 4, 24, eight, I carry my 2, 8 times 5, 40 plus 2 is 42, Remainder of eight, do I need to keep going? I'm going to bring down a zero. 54 goes into eight once. And if we're going to go to the nearest whole number, we can stop there because we know that one will not round up um, eight. So W equals 28 feet. Our width of our smaller one is 28 feet. Okay, make sure you come with any questions you may have um, for tomorrow. Bye. All right.